Did you know that nearly all hockey stick brands are selling you a hockey stick with a lie? Trust me when I say that they don't want you to know about it. The worst part is that it wasn't just the little tiny brands. It's the big companies, the big dogs. The ones who sell almost all of the hockey sticks. So it is up to us, the hockey players, to find out what the lie is for every new hockey stick that we buy. As each hockey stick, depending on the brand and the curve, or both of them combined, have a lie. These brands refuse to put the lie on the hockey stick. And do you know what? Hockey stick brands don't give a flying... Puck control is a very important aspect to anyone's hockey game. With puck control, everyone has their so-called sweet spot. The spot on the ice in front of them in relation to their body where they just control the puck better. Now, the sweet spot for any specific hockey stick depends on the angle between the blade of the hockey stick and the shaft of the hockey stick. This is what we call the lie of a hockey stick. This is often not labeled on a hockey stick and is quite confusing as even online retailers don't always list it. Although, as from what we just talked about with puck control, it is very important to have. As you want to get a hockey stick that matches where your sweet spot is on the ice in relation to your body. For puck control, of course. Before we get into the lie, let us review what is actually labeled on every hockey stick. This, of course, is for the retail level, where there are different codes for the pro stock, but that's for another video. Every hockey stick will label two things. The curve, which will be a code plus a marketing name again, like Crosby, McDavid, Kane. And then you also have the flex, where the flex is a numerical value between 60 and 100 for all retail brand sticks. Here's where the problem lies, pun intended. There is way more information that you need to know about a hockey stick than just its flex and its curve. There are additional things like, in this case, there's a lie. There's also things like kick point. There's also what kind of grip is on the stick. There's n numerous things that they could put on the label of this stick, but they just simply choose not to. So in my opinion, yes, hockey brands are lying to us about lies by not disclosing that information to us. Simple as that. Now, you might be asking me, what exactly is the lie of a hockey stick? And are lies really that important for my hockey game? Well, I'm not gonna lie to you. Pause for laughter. Carl, I'm not, I'm not reading this. Come on. The, the, we've overdone the puns. I mean... I, I'm done with the puns, and so is the audience. I guarantee it. They are done. They're gonna, they're gonna tune out. Immediately. I mean, you wrote the script. Well, I'm not gonna lie to you. The lie is something that is actually both simple and complex. Before we get into the technical details of what a lie is, let's review how you know if you're using the wrong lie. If you find more wear on the toe of your hockey stick blade compared to the rest of your blade, then you may be using a lie that is too low. Maybe a lie of 4 or 5, when you should be using a 6 or 7. If you find that more wear is near the heel compared to the rest of your blade, then you may be using a stick with a lie that is too high, where it may be a 6 or a 7, but you should be using a 4 or a 5. If you find that the majority of the wear is at the bottom of your hockey stick in the middle portion of the blade, then you are most likely using the correct lie, and you have found your sweet spot. As previously stated, the lie determines where your sweet spot is for puck control in relation to your body. Here is a stick with a higher lie. This one is about 6.5 or 7 lie. The greater the angle of the shaft from the ice when the blade lays flat, the closer you can play to your body. Players like Patrick Kane are known for using much higher lies. This is because they play much closer to their body. When they're dangling around opponents, they need the puck to be closer to their feet because they are trying to work the puck in tight spaces all the time. Next, we have a stick with a much lower lie, about a 4 or 4.5. The lower the angle of the shaft from the ice when the blade lays flat, the further away you can play from your body. Typically, defensemen use sticks with a lower lie. However, there are a few notable players that used a lower lie. This would be like Pavel Datsuk or Phil Kessel. They've been rumored to use closer to a four or four and a half. Lastly, we have the middle of the road lie, where these are typically five, five and a half, or maybe even six. These are pretty much what all retail sticks are, with only a few being lower than five or above six. If you don't know what you are, I would recommend you starting at a five or a five and a half. That seems to be the most 
reliable for people. And then you can try and move up to a six or a six and a half or a four and a half or a four. Something else that you should understand is that you can adapt your playing style to the lie that you wanna use. Think about it. Some of the greatest stick handlers of all time, you would say would be Patrick Kane and Pavel Datsuk. They use completely different lies though. So just know that if you use a low lie, that doesn't mean you're not going to be a great stick handler. That just means you have to do it a little bit different. I just threw out all those numbers at you and didn't even bother explaining them. But they do have a meaning. These numbers correlate to the angle between the shaft of the hockey stick and the hockey stick blade. The lower the number, the greater the angle between the shaft and the blade. Where the higher the number, the smaller the angle between the hockey stick shaft and blade. Alternatively, you can look at the hockey stick in the perspective of from the ice to the shaft when the blade lays flat on the ice. Here, the closer the shaft is to the ice when the hockey stick blade is laying flat at its maximum point, the lower the lie number. So this would be something like a lie four or four and a half. The higher the shaft is from the ice, the higher the lie number. This would be more like a lie six or a seven. Now, most hockey sticks use a lie five or five and a half. When a lie five is laying flat on the ice, this sits 45 degrees from the ice to the shaft or 135 degrees from the blade to the shaft, where every interval at the integer level is about two degrees. So a lie six shaft will sit about two degrees higher than a lie five shaft. It is about 47 degrees from the ice to the shaft, or about 133 degrees from the blade to the shaft. This results in a stick that will have the maximum amount of the blade touching the ice closer to the body. Going the other direction, a Y4 shaft sits about two degrees lower to the ice. So it is about 43 degrees from the ice to the shaft, or about 137 degrees from the blade to the shaft. This results in a hockey stick that will have the maximum amount of the hockey blade touching the ice further away from the body. This leaves us with the final question of how the hell are you supposed to know what the lie is of the hockey stick if it's not readily available, it's not located on the shaft of the hockey stick, and many online retailers don't even list it in the description. To make things even more confusing, we've actually seen a trend of lies changing to become a little bit higher so that they will play closer to your body. That's just the way that the game of hockey is trending towards, is that you want a little bit higher of a lie, but there are still people, actually including me, that I like to use a lower lie. But it makes it more difficult for me to find a new hockey stick because they're just selling less of them. So if you wanna see what the lie of your hockey stick is, please do not feel like you have to whip out your protractor. I've just added some links in the description below for what I believe are the most up-to-date curve and lie charts. This will tell you exactly what the lie is of your stick. Now this is for retail brands. If you have a pro stock stick, that could change. However, you can go to ProStockHockey.com and they will list out all the lies for all the hockey sticks, including pro stock. This video is not sponsored by pro stock hockey. I just use their website sometimes to go find the different lies of the different sticks, especially pro stock. You can use it as a tool to find out what the lie is that let's say Phil Kessel uses. To find the lie of your choosing, simply navigate to the hockey sticks page on prostockhockey.com. Then filter for your handedness and then look and see all the available hockey stick lies they have available to purchase. Here, I was looking for a hockey stick with a lower lie as I have been having more wear and tear on the heel of my hockey stick that has a lie of six. If you want to further your knowledge about selecting a hockey stick, I would watch this video right here. And if you want to just watch some more fun hockey content, I would watch this video right here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Until next time.